Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here with the new Yellow, as made famous by Coldplay. This iconic Coldplay song is in the key of B at 4-4 time at the tempo of about 87 bits per minute. So grab your electric guitar and let's check it out. I'm playing a Stratocaster for this song, but every electric guitar with a single call pickup is a great choice. Select position 5 for warm, mellow tone. For the clean tone, I'm using a Fender Twin Reverb profile on my camper with some reverb added and a bit of delay set to tempo. For the oven driven tone, I added a lead booster and a red type of pedal in front of the amp for a nice warm crunchy tone. I'm using 10 to 46 string gauge and a 1mm pick to dig in aggressively on the main riff. Alright, so the main riff sounds like this. So the main riff exists of three identical, identically parts played in the same manner and the first section is, which it, uh, is on the 9th fret of the G string, open B string, 7th fret of the high E string and you bend up the G string a whole step and then release it back. So it sounds like this. The next part, you just move the same uh, finger positioning up to the 13th fret of the G string, open B string, 11th fret of the high E string and you're just doing the same so it sounds like this then you move all the way down to the 6th fret of the G string sorry to the 4th fret of the G string and to the 2nd fret of the high E string and open B string as well. Uh, if you are a beginner, this may be tough on the fingers, but it's a good practice to learn your bends because if they do not sound uh, perfectly, it, it will just sound really crappy. So, then the last part sounds like this. And then you finish off, just move all the way up back to the 9th fret of the G string. Release the bend again. And then move to the 8th fret of the G string, open B 7th fret of the high E string. So one more time, this whole section. Got it? Alright, so during the verse he plays these uh, appreciated 
uh, chord pieces I suppose uh, with uh, some delay added if you want uh, I noticed during his uh, live versions you can clearly hear uh, some delay being added so the first uh, part he plays is uh, the 8th fret of the G string open B string 7th fret high E string Then we move to the 3rd fret G string, 2nd fret B string, 2nd fret high E string. Then we go to the 4th fret G string, 4th fret B string, 4th fret high E string. You can do this with your finger like this. Then for a second time go back to that first uh, little part. 8th fret G string, open B, 7th uh, fret high E string. Then we change a bit, we go to the 6th fret G, 7th fret B and 6th fret high E string. Then we go to the 8th fret G string, 9th fret B string, 7th fret high E string. And then we go to this part before the pre chorus, which sounds like this. playing 8th fret G, open B, 7th fret high E string for uh, several times and then just hammer on from the 8th to the 9th fret on the G string and playing 9th fret on the G string, open B, 7th fret on the high E string. So one more time. So and that that's it basically for the verse. Uh, you can add some variations to it. Uh, he does it live as well. By variations, I mean you can change the timing a bit from these parts. I did this as well in my performance. So okay, basically that's it. So the pre-chorus starts with the slide from the 7th fret B string to the 12th fret. Then you're going to play uh, this riff. What happened there was we're playing the 12th fret of the B string and the 16th fret of the high E string and moving from the 16th fret of the high E string to the 14th fret of the high E string. While playing this you uh, can add some vibrato to your playing. So one more time from the beginning So when 
ending, ending this part you slide on that last position so 15 of thread on the high E string 12 thread on the B string you slide all the way down and let the delay ring out okay so one more time from that previous verse part this is the whole part I also noticed that by the end I am picking this slightly harder just to let the delay ring out a little bit louder. Okay, so that's basically is for the whole song. Then you move up back to the chorus, which is the main riff. So basically, you're done. So, congratulations.
Okay, thank you for watching this video. See ya!